welcome to our channel. In this tutorial, we will show you how to track project risk using a risk template in Excel. The risk template provides useful information about the entire project and generates a risk matrix based on the status of tasks. Prepare the table that contains data about the project. We use a unique ID to identify tasks. The task column will be populated with a short description. The department column uses the IT, marketing, and operation categories. The actual status is the column where you can find the status of the current task. Each task has four statuses, behind, not started, work in progress, and cancelled. The priority column is populated with the priority of the current task. We use three categories to define the risk level, low, medium, and high. Let's see how to calculate the risk matrix based on the current project. The score is based on three factors. The status of the task. The priority of the task. And the weight. In the example, we use different weights to determine the score. Apply custom defined weights for the three possible priorities. We need to create a simple helper table to build the risk matrix. The main goal is to count and classify tasks based on status and priority. To do that, use the COUNTIFS function to count values in the status and priority columns. The function helps us to count values based on multiple criteria. To count the number of tasks that are not started yet and have high priority, use the following formula. If you change the data, Excel recalculates the formulas and refreshes the matrix. You can use various types of conditional formatting to highlight the data. Thanks for being with us today. Stay tuned.